right, hello and welcome to episode 12 of the FTB Pyramid Reborn speedrun race. I'm Paint Eagle and this is gonna be good. All right, so I'm back on Iris server and it's time to go look at our next quest. It looks like the only thing on this half is left is this thing, the crafting grid. And we have this energy done. We've got that down here done. So I want to work on crafting grid, petrothium, and garden cloche today. I think that'll be a good, good step in a direction. So let's see. So the garden cloche, we need this vacuum tube. We need this engineered blueprint. So we need, yep, this one. An iron, an aluminum, and a copper. Three blue and three paper. So let's grab, oh, I only need one iron, one aluminum, one copper, three blue, and I'm out of room. I probably should dump some stuff off. Let's see, what what should I dump off? Uh, let's get rid of some of this. I'll probably put this in here. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna check in here. Do I have? Oh, I do have my rice seeds in there. I probably missed over that so many times. All right. Well, let's get the uh, the garden cloche figured out, and then we can move on to rice seeds. So I need three of these. It should be enough to make that engineer's blueprint that I need. So that there, that there, and I forgot the recipe. So I need aluminum. What did I grab? Silver. One of those is probably aluminum. All right, there we go. All right, this thing, boom, right there. All right, so you need glass, two copper wire, and a redstone. Let's just go with four redstone. Uh, glass, do I have glass over here? And then copper wire. Uh, I probably want the wire cutters from from industrial craft, which means I need the hammer from industrial craft. Hammer, hammer. Should have the hammer around here somewhere. Losing things all over the place. Come on. Oh, it's in my inventory. That's how I lost it. Okay, so hammer and then wire cutters. Copper wire is made from wire cutters, which is two iron ink. Oh, I can just use shears. Do I have shears? No. So just make shears. There we go. Oh, and that only makes I need four more. I thought that would make two, but it doesn't. All right. There we go. Nope. That. Mixed with that. There we go. All right. So then we can throw all of these things in and we can make vacuum tubes. And from vacuum tubes, we want to make cloches. So we've treated wood planks, glass, and this thing, which is four iron plates. Six. All right. So there's that. And then I can make this here. There we go. Just got out all the glass and we'll make three cloches. What am I short on? Oh, treated planks. Okay. Well, I'll turn in one cloche and then we can go on to the next thing. So cloche. There we go. And now I'll just set these up. And these can be set up. Let's see. I like this area right here. So I'll just set them up right here. Boom, boom. Um, I'm probably being bring power generation. Is it underneath? No, I'll probably have to bring it up and over. So it might be a little bit messy to get power. But let's see what we can do. So four up. Then I'll just bring it over this way. This 
skin hat's come all the way over. Wow. Did not realize how far away these were. All right, so these cloches are pretty awesome little machines. Um, here we go. Right up on top. Yeah, these cloches, they will grow plants super fast as long as they're provided with water and power. And I'm just short on conduits. So let's just grab some. Let's see. Leadstone. Glass. Okay, so I need redstone. And make it here. Um, and my inventory is all filled up. Let's. Just throw some things in here for now. Take care of that later. Uh, let's grab this and leadstone flux duct. Let's see. I'm going to swap out these at the end. There we go. Um, because I think I've seen a thing where the high energy cables of a hardened flux duct don't work as well as the leadstone flux duct. Or maybe I'm completely wrong and these just aren't getting any power. Yeah, that's getting power. That's getting some power. Are these getting power? That one is. So it might just take time to get... Oh, there it is. Okay, they're both powered. Let's see my rewards for this quest. Because I want them both. Canola and cactus. And I'll leave Penola in there for now as I, I guess I'm planting the cactus real quick. There we go. There we go. Okay. Cactus is planted. Now I just need to get water in there. I have one fluid duct. So let's just move. Uh, let's get rid of you. We'll just move this water around like this. Go. I guess I need more fluid ducts. Okay, there's two more. Is this good enough to get one of them? All right, I can get one planted. Need to make some more fluid ducts. And it's just a piece of glass, so I have all of it already. Copper, copper, glass. And that's some fluid ducts. There we go. No, I'm just going to set up right there for another one and there for another one. Um, I can even get rid of you two. There, there. And I'm just setting up to power some more of these cloches. So one there and one there. And I guess I do need this wood. Do I have the stuff in here? I do. Awesome. I can just make, make some of this real, real quick. That was not what I meant to do. Oh, well. Now you get to see me make mistakes because I'm really good at that. All right. Cloche. Cloche. Here we go. Three more. All right, I'm gonna put one here and one here, and we'll do this here. So check. Now we do need more light over here. Just sneak that in. That works. All right. So you have water. You're getting power. Hopefully, maybe. You are using up all the power. I hope not. Oh, you've got power. You've got power. All right. Now to go grab the canola seed. Get rid of that. Canola seed. And just put this cloche away for now. Let's get some dirt. I uh, probably only needed two dirt. There and there. 
go. Let's put all this stuff away. And then I want another sand. And sand can go in here with sugarcane. And now I'll have plenty of sugarcane, plenty of cactus, rice, and canola. All right. So rice is good for slime balls. Cactus is good for cactus green. Sugarcane is good for paper. And canola is good for making power. Uh, but I'm not quite going to get there yet. See, I'm green. Awesome. Not quite going to get there yet. I'm going to work on this crafting grid. So for that, I do need rice and a bucket of water. Okay, I can get it right through there. Perfect. Bucket of water. And I want to make rice dough. There we go. Maybe I need more rice. There we go. More rice dough. And then for rice dough, around a bucket makes rice slime balls. Okay. So now let's I'm just gonna pick this up and move it over to the the bench over there, and that'll just be all of our IC2 stuff. There we go. We can have that, and that, and that. Treated wood planks and treated sticks. And this is much cleaner now. Okay. I'll take these things out because I really don't need them. Um, leave you in there for now. How do I own emeralds? 22 emeralds? I'm going to make more. Let's see, who has, you have a free side, you can make emeralds. Oh, but you're all filled up. Well then. Uh, copper. And there we go. Blaze powder. I'm just getting rid of both of these. These two are done. Uh, blaze powder doesn't even have a place to go. Well, I guess it's time to... Uh, Time to make some more drawers. All right, let's put copper away, and I'll make more drawers. There we go. Let's make a pair of double drawers. There we go. Two sets of them. And this will give us room for a couple more things that we need. Uh, of course, these go on the wrong way again every time I do these. All right. There, and there, and there, and there. Okay. Uh, key. We're going to lock them. Boom, boom, boom. And then I can put blaze powder away. And is this all full? Nope. All right, blaze powder. Oh man, I am just trying to clean up as best I can now. All right, well, I just put it away like that. That works. That's why I built that controller. Come on. Did this for a reason. I should have plenty of that stuff too, so I should be able to stop any of this going. So y'all should be done. Just need emeralds for now. Do you have any of these items? Silver, diamonds, you need a blaze powder. Alright. Let's get all this cleared out. Get cleaning up this base. go. That should be good enough for now. Okay. So, to make the crafting grid, we need all of this stuff. So a solderer, which is pretty easy to make. Uh, shoot, we need more quartz. Well, I'm just going to be making a ton of quartz right now as we talk. Or as I do other things. Here, you can make quartz. this away. 
eat an apple. That works. What's that? Uh, yeah, now that I've found that, uh, the rice seeds, I don't need to make, or to kill the slimes anymore with the pink slime. I'll just kill this one off just to get rid of the stuff, but I don't need it anymore. And you... Can I get to this thing? It looks like I need to go in this way. Uh, you're not getting any heads yet, but I don't think I put a beheading upgrade onto you. I didn't. So that's something else I need to make. Beheading upgrade takes helmets, nuggets. Ooh, lots of helmets and nuggets. Okay. Any of this, let's just get rid of these things in here. No, you. I'm going to go over here to this thing. So I'm going to take that off. I'll put that one on and turn it to redstone ignored. And this probably picks up. Yep, picked up that. All right. The reason I set that there to redstone ignored is so that it pulls stuff out of here faster and powers all these a little bit better. So how is it going? Well, it could be better for sure. Yeah, these things are sucking up all the power. But they're both full, or at least mostly full. Yeah, they're getting there. Well, it's probably these things that are sucking up a lot more power now. They're getting all filled. I can't put stuff back in, I guess. All right, looks good. It's literally looking good. Okay. So as we make some more quartz and we make more emeralds, it's probably, uh, let's leave it in there for a little bit longer for emeralds. There we go. We can make some of this stuff. We go quartz enriched iron. Put that in there and we can put away the quartz enriched iron. Hey, bud. Nah, you don't get to stay around much longer. There you go. Pink slime. Right in there. All right. You can take that and that too. And have the arrow and the redstone torch. All right. So coarse enriched iron. We need to make... Let's see. That should be... I guess I need to make more wood at some point. Uh, but let's see what we can get away with here. And then I think, let's see, silicone is smelted nether quartz. All right. Let's grab some of this. Pulverizer, magnetism, fluid transposer. Nope. Smeltery setup is. I guess we're still just using this. All right. I'm trying to remember what we're working on with these. There we go. You'll make some of that. All right. So step one for a crafting grid is we need a solderer. We need two sticky pistons. We need two pistons. Two pistons. Solderer, sticky pistons, and solderer. Now the solderer is a fun little thing that does not directly attach to power. If it did, I could just throw that in there and it would work. Um, but it doesn't. It needs a controller. It needs this thing here. Controller, pretty easy to make. So it's just a ring of this. No, is that not it? Quartz enriched iron. Oh, with a stone in the middle. There we go. Now I need a diamond. And I need three of these. There we go. Boom. Controller. Controller. Hooks directly up to power. We'll just run all of this over here next to these. And controller has power, and we'll just put the solder right on top. 
After this, we're going to need probably... Let's just start with six diamond ones as we gather up the stuff that we need for the rest of it. So six diamond. Let's throw some more quartz into this thing. All right. Put hoppers away. Put fluid ducts away. Let's put all of that there. Look how cleaned out we are. Another brick. Another brick can go up here too. Just throw one in here just for resource generation. What else are we missing out on? Cobblestone, slab. I guess we'll just grab cobblestone from there. And make silicone a place here. Stone slabs can go away. All right. Much better cleaned out now. Silicone, see how these are doing. All right, got five of them done. Six, and let's throw in some gold ones. And so each of these are going to need a silicone. So that's six there. Six, and I'm going to need four for iron and four for gold. So I need seven more. Two more of these. So I can split this up. Get it going double. There we go. The electron can just go there. There's the other two. Alright, how's the gold doing? Gold is done. Let's get iron cooking. Now these can be speed upgraded, um, but I'm not entirely sure it'll be worth our time for the speed run. Uh, let's see, speed upgrade. Yeah, that'll take too much time because each one takes a gold. So, boom, there that's going. Now we just need, what is that, 14 redstone? 64 should be enough. Crafting grid. All right, so grid, which takes glass. That's two iron, two gold. I think we can make this. All right, so let's make one of these. Uh, we need more quartz and rift iron. All right, there we go. One machine casing, need three glass. I think I need some lapis and some glowstone. And the rest is this machine here. So as soon as this one's done, we can start loading up this stuff. Let's do the iron ones first. I am going to need a crafting table. I think it should be enough to get all the rest of this done. So there's two. Yeah, we might as well make another one just so that we have our own system. So let's make another machine frame. And got one iron one left that's cooking up, and we'll go on to the gold ones. And this is iron ones are cooking up. Let's see. So this needs a destruction core and a construction core. So we'll do yeah, let's do two of those. There we go. Grid, construction core, destruction core. Oh, that doesn't take it takes uh Nether quartz, there we go. Two of that. And iron and nether quartz, there we go. Destruction cores. It takes two of these, and now we should be able to make just the grid. Boom, we got a grid. Now, 
let's swap it out real quick just to get stuff done. So letting this go. Once this is done, then we'll be able to just make a crafting grid. And then we can work on making a second crafting grid for our own use. Um, but right now, that is not the most important thing. So I've got the machine casing. Can I make a second grid? No, I need another gold one. So you, done there. Crafting table grid. There we go. Now this is going. And we're going to have another one done. So that'll be two more achievements that we've knocked off. And then Petrophium. All right. So this Tectonic Petrophium, you melt down one of these, it makes a quarter bucket. We need 50 buckets, which means we need 200 of these. 200 of these, so that's 200. That's 100 of each of these. Wonderful. And this can be made by putting redstone onto Pulverized Obsidian. How much redstone? Two redstone dust. Let's see. So we need 200 redstone dust to be melted down. So pulverizer. That's 50. 200 redstone dust to be melted down onto. Let's see. If you're pulverized, four. So we need 25. Onto 100. Uh, obsidian dust. So there's that's 50. That's 100. 164, 178, 183, 84. Yeah, that makes sense. So it should be 50. And 40. So one more. All right. It's going to melt this down. And we can let that go. Uh, this is going to need another 25. There. So we can put this away. All right, now this crafting grid should be done. Wonderful. And we can get back to making these. Uh, let's put the crafting grid away and then we'll grab some more redstone for that. So we need five more redstone. There we go. Five more redstone will complete the gold and then the diamond ones. So you're probably good and you're good. So now we can use power for other more important things. We're good there. All right. Ah, messed up on the redstone. Okay, well, three of them is 100. I will see how this goes. Oh, well. I could have done better there, but it's too late now. I probably could try to calculate it all, uh, but this here will do 10. So that's one. Yeah, I'm going to grab these hoppers. This one here. Yep, hopper. And now I can just load all the redstone I need right into there. You can get swapped out for diamond pieces. And you can make another grid. Grid, there we go. You don't need to be there. All right. All right, 
So you're making a grid. I guess I can make a drive. This drive. Um, let's see. Let's make some chests. One of these, a bunch of this, and a disk drive. And I don't think we have all the stuff that we need. Go. Make the rest of that. And I can make a disk drive. Okay. So the disk drive is what holds the information stored here. As I go bit by bit saying that I don't need it, but then still working on it and seeming like I do. Uh, but it needs disks. But what else I can do is I have all this storage. What is an external storage take construction destruction so i need two more iron ones now i've got you i've got you all right so an external storage i can use to go hook up to that thing over there that will have all that power um and i'm not really sure that i want to make these just yet but we'll see how it goes all right Actually, I, I've changed my mind. I definitely do not. You are doing okay. Got ender pearls. That's nice. Um, I want a load of gold. So I want to make 20 gold helmets. So that's 12. It looks like I might be out of gold. So that's 17 gold helmets. Swap out to make some gold. And you can just go in here. Because I don't really need that anymore. Okay. Um, no, no. I want to put this over by here with this chest. Because, yes, I'm making a giant storage machine, basically, and putting all of the parts of it in chests. Alright, are we out of gold? Yeah, out of gold. So, making more gold. This is going along nicely. This is doing its best. Oh, and this needs to accept from the top. There we go. Alright. More gold. I need three more gold helmets. One, two, three. Then I need 40 nuggets. There we go. And that's all the gold that I need. Now I need 20 helmets. So. Grab this chest. Throw a chest down. All the gold helmets. Okay. 12. 24. There's 20. There we go. 20 iron helmets. And all the iron helmets can go into there for now. Grab some of this, and this is where it's going to be a bit tough to make all the stuff I need, but one, two, three, four, that goes in the middle, that's around the outside, there we go. Now you're just going to have to make it like this for a bit, grab all the helmets again. This would give me, there we go. Oh, I need more iron. This will give me the ability to put decapitation on that mob crusher. Come on, there we go. 
Uh, decapitation from that mob pressure, so I'll get a bunch of skeleton skulls. And with skeleton skulls, I can make... There we go. I can make wither skeleton skulls, which are absolutely needed to make um, withers. So here we go. All right, let's check out soul sand. Is that a quest or is it something that I can make somehow? Atomic reconstructor and sand, okay. So I can just throw you here. Go. I may have already had this in this chest. No, I don't see it. All right. Well, uh, you can make this. There we go. And this just keeps chugging along. I'm gonna let this keep chugging for a bit. Go. Finish that there. And it needs more redstone. We got the one redstone. There we go. Okay, so that'll chug along for a bit. Um, this will go here. That is 54. That means I need 46 more redstone. All right. That's all the redstone that I need. I need 100 uh, clay. 64, that's what, 70, 80, there we go, and then I need the same thing in, what was the last ingredient for, Petrothium dust is pulverized obsidian, that's right, so I need a 25 in there, 25 pulverized obsidian in there. Are. And I'm making the pulverized obsidian. Now all those machines are working about as fast as they'll go without upgrades. Um, do I need any of these machines for upgrades? That's in bar. I think I need the pulverizers to make good upgrades. Okay, well I'll leave those at B for now. And we're working on petrothium. Okay. Working on Petrothium, that'll be it for this side. Now here, we have the controller, the Starfield generator, the Draconic Fusion Injector, and the Clay Bedrock that we're working on. So I think this might be a good place to call it an episode as we make the Tectonic Petrothium. Uh, I think next time, yeah, that'll be good to get. I think next time, what I'm gonna start working on is the Starfield generator and the programmer, kind of simultaneously. Um, and I'm going to use this canola here to make the programmer. So I have some ideas regarding that. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. So thank you so much for joining me on today's adventure in FTB Pyramid Reborn. I'm Payne Teagle and have a fantastic day.